Hello there, ladies and gents. Let's do this. Rumors are filling the hollow frequencies of a daring robbery at our old estate. You've set a lot of tongues wagging. House Bayless is missing a data pad from their new library. I let my dear sister have the honors. Never could decipher that blasted thing. It's a simple code, woven through the genealogical entries. You just have to assemble the letters correctly, Len. I can't wait to see what's inside. I hope it isn't a huge explosion. That would be anticlimactic. According to this, we must pry open the droid's ventral servo motor housing and disable its lateral conduits. The hollow chip is hidden within a false power storage unit behind a detonite charge. Entering the disarm code. Perhaps you should be wearing gloves while you poke around in there, dear sister. I've got it. After all these centuries, we finally have our proof. The information on this holo chip proves House Turan is owed a considerable number of credits. When the other families hear of this, we will reclaim our status among the nobility. Don't forget who put you back on top. I think you'll find us extremely generous to our friends. Fucking A. I must leave at once to have this data authenticated by the Royal Council. Len, see to our hero's payment. Nothing would please me more, dear sister. I well, am not fucking here. Here we are. Perfect. I have a little surprise for you. Is this where you double cross me? What? You thought I was. Oh, no, my dear, a thousand times no. I've arranged a private dinner in your honor. House Organa's chef is the best on Alderaan. I even hired musicians to serenade you. We'll eat and talk and dance and, well, who knows what else. Thanks, but I have other business. Ah, I see. Was it the musicians? Too much? Never mind. I understand. Here, take this datapad to your associate Risha. It contains one of House Turan's old family recipes. The design for a powerful anti-radiation shield, which makes a starship immune to all sorts of nasty cosmic rays. That could come in handy. I can't imagine what you'd need something like that for, but I'm sure whatever it is will be quite exciting. Once you add your bonus for recovering heirlooms from our old home, you'll find you've done quite well. You have House Turan's deepest thanks. Someday you'll have powerful friends on Alderaan. Farewell. That wasn't very hard at all. Risha, I got a thing. Nico, you fucking failed me. Also, you didn't. Good job. Lock boxes. No, oh, I didn't click it in time. Oh well. We've got our soothing, soothing music going on for us, which is always lovely and nice. What we've got here in league chat. No, nothing interesting. You know what, like, the eerie, like, wind tunnel -y sound of our spaceship is so... Not very homey. It's not very homey. What's up, girl? You got House Turan schematic. Perfect. That wasn't too bad, was it? Ah, he was a creep. Ask me again when the bruises heal. I sense there's a long story to go with those bruises. Yeah. Your next delivery is to take that head in the jar to a sniveling little stuffed shirt named Pima Ahuff. Pima is at House Alda's estate. You'll have to sneak through some tough battle zones to get there. Why does some noble need a head in a jar? It's a history thing. If you're that interested, ask Pima. His lectures are thrilling. I'll pause. Can't wait to ditch that creepy head. I swear its eyes follow me around the cargo hold. This is one delivery I recommend keeping covered. Let's not upset the locals any more than we need to. Good luck, Captain. But it's gonna go smoothly first time. What are you talking about? <laughs> what could go wrong? Don't be silly. Don't be silly. You know what, I'm gonna quickly do some stronghold shit. I'm sure if my adorable little stronghold. It's on Tatooine, I should've done it while I was on Tatooine, shouldn't I? Oh well. You know what they say? Listen to soothing piano. God, so soothing. Hey, my lovely, lovely estate. Yeah, fucking beautiful. Yeah, yeah, whatever. 
this fucking place. It's so lovely. It's mine. In here. Put it all together. It's all mine here. Got a little ground safe. Which I think is cute. It keeps some stuff. Oh. Alright. Uh, use, 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 use. Use, 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 use. Oh, you know, I think I can sell those for cheap. Cool. And then we'll also have. Oh, no, no, actually, I don't have the space for it all. Goodness me. Okay. So, instructor door. Yeah, take all that shit. Repair my stuff. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, cool. There, we will take all of this shit. Okay, cool. That goes into there. Take the black crystals. Got so much gear in these things. Um, this is where I grabbed my outfit out of, actually. I mean, they're all bound to legacy and stuff, so anyone can wear that outfit if I really want them to. In fact, I may very well put that outfit back in here. Uh, let's put it in this corner there, because it's... Oh no, that was bound. It's a lovely outfit, and I would like others to be able to use it. Also, the dye in it is quite a rare one. Uh, that headpiece was gross, though. It can go over there. Okay. And then bay one. Stop growling, you. How much does it cost to add another bay? Uh 750k? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck. I'll clear it out later. Um, fine, I'll throw the chest armor up there. And then just dump, 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 dump. Okay, cool. Inventory handled. You should have that. I don't need it. Oops. Might actually need an orange shotgun in the future for putting stuff away and anything that. Keep that. Sell these things. This is the shit I get up to. Um, I'll take the money. Delete that. And uh, no, no. I do. There we go. Uh, two days. I'll call it three thousand. That's how I make my fortune. Awesome. And then next area. Return to my freighter. One of the finest freighters in space, you know. Okay, and now out we go. Ah, oh, our inventory is looking lovely and empty again. Hey, whatever, flying down. I still need to finish the stronghold. It's got like an entire ground level above and tattooing itself to stock up and to put down a spaceship and that kind of cool shit. You know how it is. I own like as a cool drop ship to place in one of those, which I think was probably worth like a shit ton of money and I shouldn't have used it on myself and instead sold it for a few million, but you know, whatever. Okay. Pima Ahuf is such a stupid name. Alright, mission items. Darth Bandon. See, I didn't know it was a Darth until I read this thing. Darth Bandon's head, perfectly preserved in liquid suspension. I wonder, is the head still alive? That would be fucked up. Or maybe Ahuf Bandon was part of the Ahuf family. We like finally Be advised, anyone exhibiting signs of genetic mutation from rat ghoul plague exposure should be seen as an imminent threat. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I'm not worried, really. Okay, time to get inevitably attacked. Oh, wait, there's a thing over here flying, so I have to run all the way the fuck over there. Why would it tell me that way? Vehicle pads are currently open for business. Have a safe and to pleasant library. stay. Oh, this is a long journey again. I need like minesweeper or some shit. Already 
Sonic, Captain. Uh, this is where I feel like I should just haul and I really should just haul something else into the game screen and just play that. Uh, any way of doing that normally? Not really. Uh, can I open that up? Well, I could pull it in, I suppose, but effort. It also might jerk everything out and then fuck up the recording. Which wouldn't be the best news. Instead, let's just enjoy the scenery. It's all snowy and fucking awesome. Like, I would love to live in Alderaan. Hey, check this motherfucker out. Very snowy and cold, but lovely and green and pine tree -y. Random floating thing. Why does that float? Surely that's like a lot of effort to keep always repose, repulsor lifted. Am I, am I wrong? Is that not like totally fucking pointless when it could be melted to the ground? I mean, it looks dope. Don't get me wrong. Whatever. What's there a random smoky fire over there? Oh, it's a fight zone or an explosion having some death. Oh, that place got fucked up. Wonder whose mission that's for. Oh, this journey. Do, 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 do. It's funny doing this in the space taxi. Huh? Why is this stomping? I wasn't the one who shook my camera just then. Weird. But yeah, um, usually when you're flying around in Alderaan, you're flying on like one of those animal creature things. And instead, <laughs> I've got the one right next to it, so I'm taking a space taxi all the way there. Which is silly. It's just silly. And one of my characters basically just drives one of these as its vehicle of choice, just getting around. So my getting around vehicle looks like that. Hurrying good for me. Okay. Alright, Peavis. Peavis and Pothead. Some scholars. Oh, it's a librarian. Oh, you're looking redder than a strawberry. Alright, Pima. Guided tours of House Alder's Royal Museum are closed until further notice. I have nothing against off-world visitors, but please leave, or I'll be forced to call security. Do you want this head in a jar or not? I most certainly do not. Get that disgusting thing out of my sight. I mean, really, what sort of buffoon brings a counterfeit head and expects payment? House Alder has already obtained the head of Darth Bandon, thank you very much. It was genetically authenticated by one of my conservators yesterday. Not only are you an idiot, your people are incompetent. How dare you! Cadrath? Cadrath, come here! Yes, noble curator. How may I serve your impeccable rectitude? Where is Nava? I want her to run the genetic authenticator on this head and prove it's a fake! I haven't seen Nava since she authenticated the other head yesterday, noble curator. I sent a message to her holo, but she never replied. Describe this Neva to me, so I can end her miserable existence. Oh, my stars, no. She's such a lovely young lady. Oh. Perform a genetic authentication on this head at once. Compare the results to the head we received yesterday. I beg your patience, noble curator. This process will take some time. I'm afraid we have a slight problem. This head is a 100% genetic match for the Sith Lord Darth Bandon. I retested the head neighbor verified yesterday, and it does not appear anywhere in the genetic authenticator's database. Somebody owes me an apology. And someone owes me an explanation. 
Skavak. Captain Skavik, this is Nima oh. Ehoff speaking. I demand that you return the Arcanian hyperdrive at once. The head you bought it with is a counterfeit. Uh, sorry, Pimi. I have a strict no refunds policy. Hey, Captain. You're a little late to the party. I'm coming to get you, Skavik. Just give me a few minutes to clean up. I wasn't expecting company. Hope you don't mind, Pimi, but Nava's taking an early retirement. She's too gorgeous for life in a museum. What? You... You... Menace! You corrupted that girl! Wasn't that hard, trust me. <laughs> I wish I had a horror of your face right now, Captain. That expression is just priceless. Have fun eating my vapor trails. This is unthinkable. Skavik has committed a grievous affront to a householder. You people are a whole new level of hopeless. Now really, this is no time for insults. Skavik received the Arcanian hyperdrive at the spaceport yesterday. If he's still there, he must not have finished installing it. Skavik cannot leave Alderaan without a functioning hyperdrive. This motherfucker has, has to die! <laughs> this is this our final fucking moment? Okay, back to the spaceport. These motherfuckers are gonna kill the shit out of that motherfucking shit. Come fuck. I knew it. I knew Scarlet would be there, and I knew this would fucking happen. Why is everyone but me an idiot? In fact, I'm gonna make that. Notes to self. Note to self. Everyone but me. Is a fucking idiot. Thanks, Dan. Kiss, kiss. Oh, oh, kiss, kiss. There we go. Uh, no. We don't need to do that at all. I have a emergency shuttle, Speedy Majig. Fucker dies today. Where are you? Cunt? Be advised, anyone exhibiting signs of genetic mutation from rat pool plague exposure should be seen as an imminent threat. Uh, I can't wait to get my fucking sweet revenge. Come on now. Fucking, he's gonna be getting away at the last second, isn't he? He's gonna be getting away at the last fucking second. Shit. Whoa. You didn't waste any time, did you, Captain? Bet you ran quicker than a varactyl in hot sand. Not that it mattered. I'm sorry I can't be there in person, but my sweet little Neva is very sensitive to violence. Don't worry though, my friends here will show you a good time. This is a preview of what I'm gonna do to you, Skavik. Hit it, men! Everybody dies, you all fucking die. Okay, cunt, this is the end of you. You can send all the fuck dudes you want. I'm gonna kill the shit out of you.
How ready are you to die now, motherfucker? You're either the luckiest shot in the galaxy or those were some seriously unlucky mercenaries. <sighs> I guess I'll erase this hollow recording. At least send me a copy of that hollow first. What? For your scrapbook? Look, I hate to cut things short, but I got a swanky new hyperdrive to install. Love that Arcanian tech. Take good care of the rest of my stuff, Captain. I'll be coming for it soon. Fuck! Just found out what's happening. Sorry I'm late. The good news is, I tracked Skavik's ship to House Thule's spaceport. He must have gone there to finish installing that hyperdrive. There's still time to get him. I'll fly us to that other spaceport in no time. Throttle down, Captain. It's not that simple. The Empire controls House Thule. Skavik has landing clearance from the Imperials. But you'll have to sneak in on foot. Luckily, someone here owes me a big favor. I've arranged a meeting to sneak you inside that spaceport and get the hyperdrive. Can I trust this mysterious someone? He wouldn't dare cross me. Long story. My contact is at these coordinates. Oh, and there may be a way we can profit from this whole debacle. House Alda still wants the head. That pompous gasbag Pima Ehuf will probably pay anything to get it. I'll see what he has to say. He was willing to give up a custom-built Arcanian hyperdrive for that head. I suspect he'll say a lot. Good luck, Captain. I'll be waiting. That sounded way further away, that line. Like, la 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 la. Good luck, Captain. I'll be waiting. I hope that that showed properly in audio. I just put my hand to my mouth. Okay, head to the contacts coordinate. Oh, so much travel! No, 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 not Capital World. Alright, library. Okay, good. Alright. Pima, time to pay the fuck over. I'm going to kill you and rip out your penis. <clears throat> Hello again, Captain. I understand Skavik has escaped. I was, uh, truly sorry to hear that. I still have your head. Got anything useful to trade for it? We got off on the wrong foot, didn't we? I apologize if I was rude before. <sighs> you must understand. The head of Darth Bandon is a priceless artifact. He was the Sith Lord who murdered one of Alderaan's noblest sons. Centuries ago, Trask Ulgo brewed- Yeah, yeah, whatever. What keeps the head fresh looking after all these years? When Darth Bandon ultimately so fell in battle, Alderaan's current king is of the Ulgo family bloodline. The remains of Trask's murderer will be- suffering for the king. His head's gonna cost you a lot. I was afraid you'd say that. Any payment in credits I give you for the head now will have to... Please, I beg you. <laughs> I'll take that. And your nicest museum piece. That would violate every tenant of the Noble Curator's Code. If anyone found out, the shame of it. If I don't get that head, the shame will be worse. Here, take this. It's from the late Bergen period. Very valuable. Woo <laughs> I don't know how I'll sleep at night. But at least the Baron has his head. Goodbye. Yeah! Fuck you, buddy! Get paid! Wow, 225 credits. Uh, hey, big spender. Ugh. Let's see here. Uh, is there a little quick shortcut up there or not? Am I in the best place? I am in the best place. Oh well, we made that dick pay big. Which is always funny. Cool, sir. I'll do what I can. Oh, my guys are a real slacker. I really wish I could just set them to auto pick shit up just for a little while. I'm amazed that I'm even light one considering the shit I've done.
Fuck the Noble Curator's Code, am I right, guys? Wait, where's the way out? Is it up here? I guess it's up here. I don't fucking know my way around. Is this really not a route out? No. Really? How the fuck do I get out of this building? I'm on no mountain trail, are you shitting me? I have to go down and around. Uh, okay. Wasting time, wasting time. It's another long journey. Hey, look. At least we get that. Something, I guess. Up, up, up. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Bonk. Okay. I'm not doing terrible for cash, let's face it. I started with a million. I spent my way down to about 600,000. We're already nearly back at a million again. Just 200,000 more to go. these things even were more than I got for that shit oh my god there are suddenly slice boxes here all over the goddamn place don't mind if I fucking do loot off you go fetch fucking A See, now that's a little bit of extra profit. More light side points, another military gear, which is good. We like to see military gear, because our act dog likes to see military gear. Okay. Oh, this journey is a little bit insufferable, though. I mean, we're almost on a half hour. Uh, I think I'm going to do that friendly thing where I uh, call an episode here so you don't have to watch me run all the fucking way there because it would be very boring, wouldn't it? So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you have yourself a lovely time.